Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at how to control spacing in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Okay, let's begin. One of the first things to understand when trying to take control of spacing on your website is the difference between margins and padding. Simply put, margins are the space around the outside of elements between one container, column, or element and the next. Padding, on the other hand, is the space around the internal content of a container or column. This diagram should clearly illustrate the concept for you, but if you want further information, I have linked to an article below the video. There are also other types of spacing we can control throughout Avada, like column spacing, letter spacing, and line heights, etc. But in this video, we will mostly be focusing on the main ones of margins and padding. There are many places to control margins and padding in Avada. Let's start at the highest level and work our way down. At each level there are options that control spacing, so let's start by looking at the global options, then the page options, and then down into the containers, columns, and the individual elements. In the global options there are several settings that directly affect spacing throughout your site. If we start at the very top global options tab, layout, we can see several. If you use the box mode layout, the box mode top bottom offset setting will control how much margin there is above and below the box. If you use the wide layout, the page content padding option will control how much padding there is above and below your body content, under the header and page title bar and above the footer. If you use the 100% width page template, there is a setting called 100% width padding to specify how much left and right padding there will be on content that goes full width. Further down, options like the sidebar gutters control how much space there is between the body content and the sidebar. There are spacing options like this littered throughout the global options, way too many to cover individually. There are also many elements which have global options for margins and padding. These are found under Avada Builder Elements and the individual elements. Let's start by looking at columns, and here we can see we can control the default margin of columns. And likewise, we can control the default padding of containers for the various templates. And in the content boxes element, for example, we can again control the default margins. These global options affect the element by default, but it's good to remember that they can be overridden in the elements themselves when they are added to the page. Let's look further at controlling spacing locally now. The page options allow you to override any of the global spacing options on a page by page basis. For example, in the Content tab, you will find options to override the 100% width padding and content padding, and on the Page Title Bar tab, you could, for example, override the height of the page title bar. The remaining spacing control happens in the Elements, in the Avada Builder. Here you can set spacing on individual containers, columns, and elements on your page, overriding the default options as you wish. By default, containers have no margins or padding set, unless you are using the 100% width template when they then have default padding of 30 pixels left and right. You can of course adjust these settings on a global or a container by container basis. Let's look at an example on the caterer demo here. If we edit this top container and head to the design tab, we can see there is zero pixels left and right padding, which is overriding the global default of 30 pixels, as this page is using the 100% width page template. This column as well has zero pixels bottom margin set which overrides the usual column default of 20 pixels. The next container down, a global container as we can see by the pink colour, has 100 pixels top and bottom padding set, and as there is no left or right padding, the default of 30 pixels is used. If we scroll down to the catering services container, we can see that this container has both 100 pixels margin and top and bottom padding set. In Avada Live, margins are always shown in purple and padding in blue. You can add values into the fields on the sidebar in either pixels or percentages, but you can also just drag the margin and padding handles if you prefer. Please see the adjusting margins and padding in Avada Live video for more details on how these handles work. So then we come down to the element level. If we just move back up to the global container we looked at before, let's look at the spacing going on between the elements there. If we just edit the column first, we can see that it has no top or bottom margins or padding so all our elements are sitting tight inside that. The first element is an icon element, and if we go to the design tab, we can see it has no margins added. 
The description lets us know that we can leave it empty for an automatic margin calculation based on the size and alignment of the icon. In this case, there's none added. Next along is an image element. Again, if we go to the Design tab and scroll down, we can see that this element actually has 35 pixels top margin and 25 pixels bottom margin, separating it from both the icon and the title below. Next is the title, and halfway down the Design tab, we can see there are no margins set here. So this title will inherit the defaults, which if we open the description, we can see a 10 pixels top and 15 pixels bottom. OK, a text block is next, and on the Design tab, we can see there is both right, bottom, and left margins set, 20 pixels on either side and 40 pixels at the bottom, which gives some room before the final element, the button. If we edit that and go to the Design tab, the margins are right down near the bottom, and here we can see they are empty and have no global defaults. So looking at the global and page options, as well as the containers, columns, and individual elements, we can see how these various paddings and margins have enabled the designer to get exactly the look they were after on the page. It does take some experience to gain full control over the spacing of your elements in the Avada Builder, but the principles are the same across the board, and with a bit of practice you will be getting your designs pixel perfect in no time. Ok, this concludes our video on how to control spacing with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.